Hi, this is TJ Muleman with Standard Education with a short walkthrough of how we utilize MetaBase combined with our Standard Ed Data Warehouse to be provide better information to school districts about attendance within their school district. So the way we do this is every single night we get a data dump from Infinite Campus for our school districts. Right now we're tracking about 100,000 kids across three states. Um, and we get this data every night and it becomes in two different data dumps. The first is what we call attendance summary. And that gives just a high level perspective for each student in the district about how many days they've missed, how many unexcused absences have they missed, how many excused absences, that sort of thing. We also get a very detailed data dump for each student, and that is what we call the attendance detail. And that is information like what did they miss? What periods did they miss? Did they come in tardy? Um, and other more detailed information about their attendance history. And we use all that data to construct a really robust dashboard that is updated every single night to show school districts which of their students uh, are chronically absent and maybe most important, which students are approaching chronic absence. So let's take a look at the Garden School District. So this is our fake school district with a bunch of fake students. Um, and what we're gonna look at here is our default attendance dashboard. And what this does is it sort of shows a couple of different things. One is it shows a breakdown of your attendance summary for all 33,000 kids in this school district. It shows me that 62% are satisfactory, meaning they're less than 5% missed school uh, for, for the uh, up year to date. We see that 23.3% have missed somewhere between 5 and 9% of their uh, the school year, year to date. And we see that 13.9% uh, have missed more than 10% uh, of the school year. So this is these are the chronically absent kids. These are the kids who are missing more than 10%. Now this is configurable. We can make this five to nine percent. We can make it ten to fifteen percent. We can make it whatever you want, depending on your school district. But generally speaking, we know that um, chronic absence is right around ten percent or more missed uh, of school year to date. If we move over to the right, we can see chronically absent by district. So we can actually see this broken down by school. So one thing that we absolutely know, and we see this with our school districts right now, is that showing a comparison of school by school um, allows the district to kind of understand which schools might be having problems and, and need more intervention, need more resources. Um, it also provides an opportunity for schools to sort of compare themselves to other schools, which we know uh, helps them uh, motivate them to, to work harder and do better uh, with their attendance issues. If I scroll down, now I'm going to look at each individual student and give me gives me a little bit of perspective on how they're doing. So you can see here we've got Sean who's at Richards Middle School. Uh, he's missed about 2% of his school year. Um, and so his attendance status is satisfactory. And we can see a little bit more detail about uh, how many days he, he's enrolled, how many he's missed. Um, we can even see a breakdown of in-school suspension, out-of-school suspension, um, and any other sort of interesting data that might be uh, available for Sean. But what's really nice is I can also sort by um, uh, the percent missed to give a perspective on who might be th the biggest uh, challenges, who are the children uh, in my school district that I need to work on uh, to, to, to get them back into class. So we can see here James is our biggest offender. He's missed 90 percent of the school year, which, you know, in most cases wouldn't get to be that bad. Um, but this is test data. Um, and so we're leveraging all of the meta base uh, data visualization, sorting, all of that good stuff to kind of pr provide a, a real-time view of uh, what the attendance looks like. If I scroll back up to the top, I can easily sort by uh, or filter by school. So I can say, show me all the kids at Brookwood High School. And so at Brookwood, we can see that our, our, um, our chronic absence, our, our Chronically absent ratio is uh, closer to 14%. Uh, we can see uh, right here, we can sort uh, by this. We can even fil filter by grade. So show me all the kids at Brookwood High School in 10th grade. And that's 548 kids. Um, and you can see it's the chronically absent is a little higher. Uh, so this, again, allows us to start a drill down. But 
again, because this is meta-based, this is an embedded dashboard in which we have these filters, but maybe we want to add a couple of other filters. So I'm going to pause it. And I'm going to come back and show you uh, what that looks like here in just a moment. Okay, so now I'm in MetaBase, and I'm going to look at these filters, right? Because I noticed in the portal, because that's an embed, we're using static embedding, um, I noticed that it had school filtering, grade filtering, but it was missing the status filtering. And the status filtering is something I'm really excited about because it allows me to say, just show me um, my chronic or at-risk uh, students. And so uh, to fix that, uh, let me go in here to sharing. So we'll click that. I'm going to click the embed option and I'm going to go to static embed. This has already been set up. So I'm going to edit the settings. The settings have already been kind of configured, but I'm going to change those and I'm going to go to parameters. Okay. So static embed parameters, and you'll notice that school and grade are both editable, um, but the status is not. So let me click editable and let me publish those changes. Okay. So I'm going to pause it again. I'll come back. Okay. I'm back. And so you can see uh, the status is now available. So previously it was just school and grade, uh, but the status was not. And so this is just a reminder. So I'm kind of combining a couple different concepts here. Uh, when you use static embedding with MetaBase, the filters need to be explicitly turned on or else they will not show up in the embed. And, I th and that is because um, filtering allows you to kind of narrow your data and in some cases, you may not want the end user to filter the data that way. So this is what allows you to kind of control whether or not they can they can turn that on or turn that off. It's a very novel approach by MetaBase and something I like, but it also is something we overlook often. Um, so uh, two more things I wanted to talk about was as it relates to attendance. Um, one is you can download the data uh, when you use the static embed. So if you click these dots, download results, you can download as a CSV, XLSX, or JSON. Reason this is so important is because it gives the end user the power to actually manipulate the data how they want to in their platform of choice, which most of the time is Excel. So this is really powerful and allows them to download the data using MetaBase or using uh, our platform, which is utilizing MetaBase, MetaBase into your own um, XLSX. The last thing I wanted to show you, um, or at least talk to you about, is we have um, the ability to utilize email digests within MetaBase, which every Monday for two of our school districts, they get an email, uh, the, the uh, counselors at particular schools get an email with just their students who uh, are approaching chronic absences. And what this does is it takes away some of the tedious work that a counselor would have to do to go track down which kids are approaching chronically absent. It just delivers that data to them in their inbox or delivers a link to go look at the data. It doesn't actually share student data in the inbox. Uh, it shares the data or a link to the data so that they can go then look to see which kids are, are maybe not chronically absent yet, but are approaching it. And by using this tool, um, we've seen this particular school district reduce chronic absence because now the, um, uh, the counselors and the administrators can be more proactive and they don't have to do all the data work to track these kids down. So glad, thanks for paying attention. Thanks for tuning in. Again, I wanted to talk a little bit about how we use MetaBase and what particular data visualizations we use uh, to help our school districts keep track of attendance uh, and help reduce chronic absenteeism in their school districts. Talk to you later.